on the last trading day, we found an unusual trade worth $2.9 million on United Airlines stock options. And so in this video, we will analyze this unusual option activity to find out how wealthy investors are now trading United Airlines. Are they bullish and buying or bearish and selling so that we can also make the same financial decision to make money while the rich are getting richer on Wall Street? Because as we all know, the rich have more access to information, including leaked insider information to make better financial decisions. No wonder the rich get richer. So without further ado, let's dive into the data as usual. As we can see here on the options time and sales tape, 10,000 contracts being traded September 13 at 129 at the 42nd mark for these November 15 options at the 52.5 strike calls. And we can see the price that they paid here, 298. So we can calculate the total trade costs. So 298 times 100, since each option represents 100 shares of stock. So we know that each of these call options costs $298. And we multiply by the 10,000 contracts and we get $2.9 million. So what is this millionaire doing? Are they bullish in buying or bearish in selling? Well, let's take a deeper look at the option chain to find out. We can see here for these November 15 options that these 52.5 strike calls are clearly opening trades because the open interest is only 230. And so these 10,000 that they traded cannot be closing trades because there was only 230 open interest. And based on our analysis, you can see here, we are in the same position. POS stands for position. Green means buy where they are buying these call options to open. And so when we analyze this trade, you can see here on the risk profile profit loss graph, as the share price is represented on the X axis of United Airlines stock, profit on the Y axis, note the break even line here. And you can see that as the share price goes down, it becomes more negative loss. If it goes up, it becomes more positive gain, profits because this is a long bullish trade where they are buying these call options, which is what we also did. And we can confirm it with the Greeks over here. We have a positive delta trade. If it was a short bearish trade, it would be a negative delta. Now, this is still a higher risk trade, and that is why we use position sizing to manage our risk, because not all of these unusual trades will be profitable. Even this one might be a loss. But as long as we diversify with higher quality stock picks based on stronger data, we can become more profitable in the long term. Now, since we are on the topic of airlines, and to give you a real example of one of our higher probability of profit trades based on stronger data that we share with our members only, we actually started buying another airline stock just a month ago. You can see here, we had Alaska Air just a month ago, August 13, where we shared it with our members only. And you can see that the delta here is a positive delta. And so we analyzed these unusual options a month ago and started to go long bullish on Alaska Air. And you can see that this trade was actually... 9.7 million dollars and there was other data as well that increased the probability of profit and you can see that alaska air ever since we got into this trade you can see which was august 13 was all the way over here and so the gain in just one month was 18 percent outperforming the market and that is how we beat the market consistently by selecting the higher probability of profit trades based on our data analysis and option strategies to reduce risk while increasing profits. Because our options trade in Alaska Air actually made more than 100% profit already, 
even though the stock only gained 18%. So if you want access to option strategies and better stock picks with stronger data like this Alaska Air trade, not like the United Airlines trade, then make sure to go to our website. We'll put a link at the top here where you can get access. If you want more stocks wealthy investors are trading for your portfolio diversification that have stronger data backing it up. And so for the United Airlines trade, we can see on our analysis here, it is very high risk because of the theta decay here. You can see that the theta here is a negative three. So these options will decay in value through time. And you can see the break even currently represented here on the purple line, meeting the zero break even point, actually starts to shift upwards all the way where the blue line meets the zero. You can see that is $55.28. So by November 15, when these options expire, United Airlines needs to trade above this $55.28 for these options to start to become profitable. And so if we take a look at the charts, we can see that this $55 level would be an increase of at least 10%. And so the chance of that happening is higher risk because you can see we are actually quite overbought now. You can see that it has been on a very strong rally. And so that is why we use position sizing to manage our risk and put most of our capital in the stock picks that we share with our members only on our website. Visit www.unusualoption.com to join our membership and start your journey to a financial success with a partner you can trust. Now, another reason this trade is higher risk is that earlier this week, you can see here that on September 9th, there were a lot of call options being bought for the September 13 options. And you can see here, they were buying these 51 strike calls and 52 strike calls 5,000 and 3,000 contracts here, they were all opening trades. And these were unusual trades, but not higher probability of profit based on our analysis. And that is why when you look at the cost of the trade now, you can see that because United Airlines did not trade above $51, it was at $50, those options expired worthless, out of the money. So those people who followed those unusual trades from other websites and scanners lost 100% in just a week. And so be very careful if you trade unusual option activity that there is a lot more data that needs to be analyzed behind the scenes and you cannot just depend on scanners that use very automated data analysis that get very poor results. And that is why we spend a lot of time analyzing the data for our members only on our website to pick stocks that have a higher probability of profit while using option strategies to reduce our risk while increasing our profits. If you want to learn more, make sure to go to our website. We'll put a link at the top here. Let us know what you think about United Airlines. Will it go up or will it go down? As usual, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care and have a wonderful weekend.